What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to create a music zone. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so basically, we're gonna create a trigger that once the player enters, it will start to play some music, okay? And then once you leave that trigger, we will stop playing the music. And you can use this to place different music, ambiences, or whatever around your world in Unreal Engine. So, the first thing that we need to do is go to the content browser, right click, and create a new blueprint class. In this case, it's gonna be an actor as it's gonna be placed in the world. And let's put this something as BP underscore music zone. Open this up. And the first component that we are going to add is going to be a collision. And in this case, a box collision. Now you can go ahead and select the best shape for you. But in my case, and 99% of cases, the box collision will work just fine. Let's rename this to trigger. And let's put in the line thickness to like 1.5. It's a bit thicker, we can see a bit easier. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure that in the collision settings, you have by default overlap all dynamic and everything. So don't even touch that. And then we are good to go. So compile, save, go back and drag this in. Now the very important part comes, which is of course resizing the whole actor. So literally you can just drag the scaling tool and just make this something like this, okay? And that's it, we have the trigger. Now, of course, it's invisible. Now, just for testing purposes, let's make that we can see it on play mode, okay? Just for testing, you can deactivate it later. So, on trigger, let's go and search for hidden in game and disable this. And now, as you can see, we can also see it in game, which is cool to kind of, you know, see if we are inside the trigger or not, just for testing. All right, so now let's go ahead and dive in into the logic, okay? So, once we enter we have to go ahead and start the music so let's select the trigger once again scroll down to the bottom and as you can see we have a bunch of events let's go ahead and select the on component begin overlap so basically when something starts to enter the trigger let's click add and now we have it out here so first of all we need to make sure that the actor entering is the player because i mean imagine you have ai's moving around or whatever you want to make sure that it's only the player or the only actor that you want to be detected so for this let's do a very little thing which is adding an attack to the player so on the third person blueprints third person blueprint let's go to class defaults search for tag and then uh sorry in class settings uh oh i didn't even yeah it was in defaults tag i just didn't put the t there we go so in main actor we can just go ahead and put player and now as you can see we can compile, save, and close, go back to the music zone bullpen, and then we can do if this actor that has entered has the tag player, well, we know that it is the player. And you can do this for any type of actor in the game. Just make sure that it's written exactly the same, okay? It is also case sensitive, and make sure that there's no space after or whatever. So with that said, let's do a branch, and if this is true, we will continue. And in this case, just for testing, let's put in a print okay so we can see that on the screen so now if i enter this trigger as you can see we have a hello at the top left you maybe didn't see it because of the prompt but there you go as you can see when i enter i get hello cool so now we need to do exactly the same but when we exit we're gonna also delete this other stuff so let's select the trigger components once again scroll down under events we can go to the component and overlap this time because we want to do the opposite thing copy paste plug this into the branch and then very important other actor to target and that's it okay cool so we can enter and exit now it is time to create the music itself there's a couple ways to do this in this case let's drive from true and say spawn sound and there's a couple things you can do 2d allocation or attached 2d is just in 2d so you will hear it perfectly um you know in the same speakers and everything at location what well, we will spawn in a 3d position in the game 
right now it will be in the trigger and attach well imagine that this trigger moved around it will kind of go with it in this case let's do 2d because normally you know music and ambiences will be always in 2d right so with that, I have a music that I have imported which is this one very simple as you can see I literally just imported this into my folder and they're gonna double click and enable looping okay so it will loop this is very important okay back over here we're gonna go ahead and just change the volume to like 0.3 or whatever it is right and with that said we are good to go if we press play and we enter the trigger music starts playing get very quiet because well, we can increase this a bit but there we go now there's a couple of things that we need to do first of all there's a natural thing which is to fade in the sound and we can put this to be you know um let's take 0.5 seconds and then the fade volume level will be well 0.5 okay so it will take 0.5 seconds to reach a volume of 0.5 if that makes sense so i go here as you can see there's like a fade in which is way nicer and last but not least we need to do the opposite go ahead and stop the uh, music over here so what we can do is save this in a new variable and this will be music put this here delete this plug this here and plug this here and now with that said, we can go here, we can get music, we can right click, convert to valid again, so we'll only continue if this variable is set, just in case, it should be always the case, because if you're going outside of the trigger, you probably have entered, right, but it's always good practice, and then let's go ahead and do a fade out, okay, and let's do also like 0.5, and well, in 0.5 seconds, it will reach zero, so we can try this, we enter, music, exit, we fade out enter as you can see it's working perfectly fine and also we have a nice transition with these two nodes so everything is working okay so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you got a video and subscribe to my channel you can check out my unreal club if you're serious about learning unreal engine 5 and now yes with all i said bye bye